What's up, guys? We're back. And this week, we're looking at a new study that was assessing ultra-processed versus minimally processed foods and food texture and its effects on energy intake. But first, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, follow the algorithm. So we have talked about on this channel many times that ultra-processed foods are hyper-palatable, they're easy to overconsume, and that is a big reason that we have an obesity crisis now because people eat so many calories from ultra processed foods because they don't have the same effect on satiety. When we look at what affects how much people eat, it's easy to try to make things real simple and say, well, ultra processed or minimally processed or processed food is bad, minimally processed is good. But there's a lot of things that go into palatability, not just sugar, not just fats, not just salt, not just processing. The texture also matters. So this, this study we're looking at was comparing two sets of minimally processed versus ultra processed foods. So in one set, they looked at minimally processed soft food versus ultra processed soft food and minimally processed hard texture food versus ultra processed hard texture food. And they were looking at which induced greater satiety and which one caused people to eat more. They basically um, had people eat a standardized breakfast and then like a standardized mid-morning snack, which was basically like a drink. And then they fed them a lunch of either, again, hard foods, ultra-processed versus minimally processed, or soft foods, ultra-processed versus minimally processed. Now, as you would expect, across the board, minimally processed, people ate less than ultra-processed. But there were differences between the textures of the group. People overall ate less in the hard texture group. That went for ultra processed and minimally processed. Okay. They ate more of the soft foods. What's really interesting is the ultra processed hard texture group ate less than the minimally processed soft texture group. So this just goes to show you cannot just pick one thing and say, that's going to make the food good or bad. That's going to make people overeat. That's going to make it addictive. All this stuff works together to form an overall outcome of palatability, mouthfeel. And that is what really determines how much people are going to eat of a given food. In this case, you could argue that perhaps texture is actually more important than processing. Now, again, it looks like both are important, right? Because in both groups, if you compare ultra-processed to minimally processed, they ate more in the ultra-processed. But in both groups, separating out textures, they ate more in the soft texture versus the hard texture. And again, the hard-textured ultra-processed group ate less than the soft-textured minimally processed group. So I think the takeaway from this is labels like only eat minimally processed foods, I mean, probably a good guideline. But as a hard rule, they still not work because if you're eating a bunch of minimally processed soft foods, you might still be overeating. This is why I tell people it's good to have guidelines, but not rules. Because if you have a guideline that says, you know what, I'm going to limit my sugar intake. Good guideline. Help you cut down calories. But if you have a rule that says you can never eat sugar, then you do dumb things like not eating fruit because it has sugar. Or Again, if you have a guideline, which is I'm going to use mostly minimally processed foods, but then your minimally processed foods, you're eating a bunch of nuts and cheeses and whatnot. Those, those are still pretty palatable. It's good to have guidelines because overall, a guideline will point you in the right direction. But if it's a hard rule, it will cause you to make dumb decisions. Low carbs, like that. Well, I'm going to reduce my carbohydrate intake. But if you're drinking bacon grease and putting butter in your coffee, and getting Cheeto ice cream that has 700 calories, more calories than normal ice cream, your rule, I don't eat carbohydrates, is causing you to do dumb things. Guidelines versus rules is very important. Hope you guys liked the video, and I'll catch you next week.